All right, welcome to the Rio at home. I'm wearing a very festive dress that feels like I work at Epcot, and we are about to get into girl chat. <laughs> Comedian, I can see you. Epcot now. I know. Hi, my name is Amanda. Yes. Let me take you on a tour. Yes. <laughs> so up first, Amy Schumer and her husband, Chris Fisher, welcomed their son into the world about a year ago, and they named him. But then they started having second thoughts about his name. And so Amy revealed on Three Girls, One Keith, a podcast that her son's original name, Gene Attell Fisher, sounded a little too close to the word genital. Gene oh. Attell. Oh. So, yeah, yeah. So they were like, let's run it back, rewind. And in an effort to honor both uh, her father, Gordon David Schumer, and her best friend, comedian David Tell, the name is now Gene David Fisher. So my question to you all is, because I've never, I've never heard this happen before. Um, but you know, can you? Is it ever too late to run it back as a parent and be like, you know what? We thought that was a good name, but we gonna switch it up. Wait, I have a question for your question, Amanda. Do you think? I mean, obviously not. But is it weird that nobody ran the first, the middle, the last name yeah, together? Like, I would try it out. Well, also as comic. Like, I feel like that's the first thing I heard when they said it. Because as a comic, I'm like, ha, 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 ha. Well, as a comic and a child, I was like, ha, yeah. ha, ha, ha. <laughs> so, <laughs> But, right. um, yeah, so, but I'm, I'm just thinking, like, I've always heard about people deciding they want to change their name. But I've yeah, never right. heard of, of parents changing the kid's name, like, that, you know, and even I've heard of parents waiting and then there's cultures that have name ceremonies where the baby doesn't get a name until after a certain amount of time and a name oh. ceremony. So what do you guys think about like... This sounds like Amy, name? first of all. It sounds like Amy. Amy would do something like this and then she would totally have to change the ba po baby's name. You would think after nine months, I mean, she had nine months to come up with something and then she waited like a whole nother like six or seven months. But he's such a cute a year. baby. A year. A year. A year. So, two years. I, I want to know. I, I wish I was a fly on the wall when when they found out. Like, when it started, like, clicking to them, like, oh, no. Like, were they drunk? You know? Well, let me tell you what I think. Okay. I think you're the parent. You gave birth. Do whatever you damn well please. It's your kid. You gave him the name in the first place. If you want to switch it up, go for it. I just think there's more of an age, like, where this shouldn't be done. Uh, that's, like, when the kid is old enough to decide, like, no, I like my name. I don't like, like, you can't be like, I'm 16, you know? We don't I like your name. I always to name you Elizabeth instead. Like, just, just, that just gets weird. But... I always think about dogs. Dogs? I always think about Yeah, because yeah. they used to... When you adopt a dog, right? And then maybe yeah. they have already, obviously they've already had a name and then you want to change it. And they're so used to being responsive being to a certain name. But this was right. the middle name. So this makes it a, a lot easier because a child is going to know what their name is around the time they're, they're a year, you know? So, but because right. it's the middle name, I don't think it's that much. It's not that serious. It's not, yeah. It's yeah. Not that. Not that you know, Did you have name the, options the for your children? I know that straight off the bat, you know exactly what your daughter's name was gonna be always. Did you yeah. always know Aiden? But you did have a you did have some time finding the middle name, Talia for Araya. Yeah. Was there other options and would, did you ever consider changing it? What no, I was like options? Tatiana. I was looking at other names, but Teenage. we really took our we really took our time. Uh, sorry, what was that, Adrian? <laughs> I said it was sorry. T names. You were looking for T names. Yes. Letters looking start with T names. For T names, uh, we really took our time. So when we decided the name, it was it was definite. And I like their names. Ar Araya Talia Housley and Aiden uh, John Tanner Housley. And I love my name, too. Tamara. And what's your middle name? Darvet. Oh, I have Darvet. never heard of Darvet. Amanda, what's your middle name? Yeah. Ingrid. 
I am Amanda from the Ingrid. <laughs> Ingrid. <laughs> and all this time I thought it was Diva. <laughs> so, no, because my name was Amanda Diva for so long and I was in grad school and I got it put on my degree. So like my Columbia graduate degree says Amanda Diva Seal. Diva. Because really? it was on it was on all my work IDs. So I was able to get a notary public to acknowledge it as like this is an official name. That's how I originally knew you. But that's me in New York. York. My mama wasn't diva. like, you are now anointed diva. You know, like that's different. Wow. All right. Well, wow. that's that. So moving on. Moving <laughs> on. <laughs> Well, uh, okay, here's another interesting debate, you guys. A recent article on the site Mind of Malacca asked if your spouse's enemies have to be your enemies too. And while, <laughs> Maybe. The, right? and while the author argues that married couples are supposed to be like a divided front, there may be other things to consider. Like if your spouse is... A confrontational person just in general so ladies do you think you're obligated to despise who your boo despise this no I, I i hate them worse actually to be quite honest with you so here's the thing okay. my stepdaughter mariah and i say that we are a storage unit of grudges that we are holding for israel because israel doesn't hold them himself so Israel forgives people, gets over things. Yeah. He is confrontational, so he confronts it, gets it over with, and moves on. Not me. I don't confront it, and I hold it forever. So Why? that's just me. I and and <laughs> that's a I, lot of energy. I have a, no. I actually don't give it energy, but at the same time, I won't be your friend. Like, and it's weird because I can forgive easier for myself. Like, if someone did a wrong by me, I can get over it. I cannot get over it for my husband. Or for people that I love. Yeah. yeah. Like Got I it. hold it way stronger. If you did something Perfect. wrong by like my sister or my mom, like I it, I wanna fight. Yeah. Well, you're just being protective, right? I feel like that's where that comes from. Like being yeah. protective and like, you know, I think people will get over things, but then you'll be like, nah, like that same person is still shady. So if you're not gonna watch them, I'ma watch them, you know? Exactly. Exactly. Well, but so has to be the core to a relationship. Loyalty is a core. Yeah. So if somebody did wrong by that person, you have to feel for them how it felt for them to go through it. You have to empathize with that. If I yeah, that's why. Now, Tam, if you said that person is, what was the word you used? If that person's personality is, it's confrontational. confrontational. Like confrontational. confrontational. Like they're 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 always. It's not like uh, they're always uh, problematic. Like enemies. If they're problematic and they got okay, so I'm everybody just say, and they're enemies just, with everyone. Yes. I have I've <sighs> met people who for some reason got issues with everybody. So if I know my friend, which I know, like my mom can also be real petty, where if she just sees something she doesn't like about you, it's done. So I know that I don't need to be loyal to everybody that my mom doesn't like because that's just uh, her thing. But if somebody did wrong to my mom and it and it scarred her or traumatized her or made her see something about that person that she cannot trust anymore, no. I'm loyal with my mom. I stand with her. What about specifically your spouse? What about your spouse? I think it's really important to be loyal to the people that have done your spouse wrong. A hundred thousand percent. Right. Absolutely. I think like you can be loyal and objective, right? Like I think mm -hmm. that's because you also don't want to be a sycophant. Like you don't want to just go along with, like I've been in situations where like I tell the story and the person I'm with is like, I mean, I hear you, but, but. He, you know, and vice versa. So I feel like that's always like yeah. the best, but that doesn't mean, even if I can be like, yeah, that was your fault. That doesn't mean that I'm going to be calling that person like, no. yo, we cool. You know, like yeah. uh, it's, it's still in house. Yeah. Okay. Yes, the type here, of person here. Think about house. this. Okay. Like, I'm just going to say there'll be some people online that have said things about me, right? And they've called me maybe out of my name. So let's put that's that's the situation. I don't want James communicating with them. That's, no. that's like, so to answer your question, who, uh, whoever asked of uh, Jeannie, uh, no, he, they're my enemies. So, and the same vice versa with him, when it comes to the man that I'm with. Now, my friends, that's something different. But my man, 
No, I no, no. Okay, but this is what I'm saying. Just because you don't want them going back and forth, do you want him following them and being friends with them? No. No, no. that's an enemy. If they called that's her out of her name, like yeah. never gonna happen. Nah. Exactly. No. Agreed. No. I'm I, I'm I'm surprised you wasn't like James. You're not gonna go in their DM. Like you're not gonna let them know. <laughs> See, I have to hold, you guys, I have to hold my husband back. Mm -hmm. When people go, you remember in the beginning when people would come after me? My husband, even before the per even before I could even respond, my husband was on Twitter saying something. And I had to be the one like, yo, 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 just let it go. Just let it go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just, just let it go. I was like, oh. yes. Yep. And I, Mayor, tell I me if this is true because of your your personality, Tam. Okay. Sometimes for me, because I just always think, I think not always in the best, I, I, I sometimes give too much benefit of the doubt. So I'll think that yes. person was having a bad day. So they weren't really just mean to me. Or I just read that wrong. And it'll be Jay who will be like, that was shade. That is not okay. No, and so I've I have to, I have to stop and go, really? really? Quick story. You guys, really quick story. I've actually okay. done this in real life where my husband okay. had had an enemy. He was just a very mean person. He was working with him. And then we all went to a party. And you know me, I just want everybody to get along. So, <gasps> Tamara fashion, I went and bought the man a drink, brought it over to him. I know you're already shaking your head. And I was like, here you go. They were friends once before. I was like, come on, y'all, let's just squash this. Do you know that man did not accept my drink and continued to be rude? And that was the last time I ever did that. So you're an enemy of my of my husband's. <laughs> you're an enemy of mine. Mm. I, okay, bravo, oh, okay, right. bravo. Okay, a Reddit user recently asked, how do you tell someone that they are a bad singer? Most people say that you should make a joke like, uh, you should let the singer sing the song. But how would you ladies handle it if somebody started singing? Or maybe they asked you, you know, I'm going to put out the album, you know. That's <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Like if you're singing in the car and you're like feeling, like if you're singing in the car, somebody like some people sing because it brings them joy, whether they sing well or not, it just brings them joy. Right. But like right. they're like, yeah, I'm about to drop it, this Amanda. mixtape. What'd you say? Speak it, Amanda. Thank you. I just felt counted for. That's her. Jeannie. That's Jeannie. <laughs> yeah, like we all know Jeannie can't sing. You know what I'm saying? Yep. But you know, it's like Yvonne. We be at, we be on set of Insecure, and Yvonne be just a singing, and we all be like, whoo, 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 child. <laughs> And, but it brings her joy. So, you know, live your life. But if she was like, I'm about to quit this whole acting thing and go into, uh, I'm going to go audition for American Idol and see if I can make it to the top. We'd be like, okay, let's, let's have a uh, conversation. <laughs> what, what do you say in that conversation? Because I've had friends that have auditioned for things like X Factor and have absolutely been embarrassed. An X Factor. And you just I let just them feel like go. You gotta you be honest. That? You gotta ask somebody. You gotta ask somebody to ask themselves. Let me tell y'all. I remember. So I used to sing and I rapped. And in my development of that, like you know, you're not really sure necessarily where you stand. And I remember going to a Janelle Monae show, and I was sitting next to a homeboy of mine. And while she was on stage, I started crying. Like just un just involuntarily, I started crying. He was like, "What's wrong?" And I was like, "I just realized like this isn't my calling." Like this person on stage, this is her calling. Like she is a vocalist, she is a songstress. Like I, I'm not there. Like I'm not. I'm never gonna be there. And I gotta find Wait, another I way. I it brought you tears of sadness at the realization the that you ain't all that. <laughs> it's the truth, and you gotta tell yourself you ain't all that so that nobody else can tell you first. 